storm. It is. Just an incredible storm that we've been watching develop for the last 24 hours into a Category 5. One of the most intense hurricanes ever seen out in the Atlantic. There's San Juan in the lower port a portion of your screen there of Puerto Rico, and you can see how close the eye came. Within about 30 miles, the eye wall itself, it was uh, just a torrential rain and very powerful winds buffeted the island here across the afternoon. Category 5 with a 185 mile per hour winds. More on that in a second. The forecasted track tomorrow night off the shores of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. You'll spend most of the day as a Category 5 moving just offshore along the northern line there. And then on Thursday night, it'll start making its way across the Cuba uh, northern shoreline between there and the Bahamas before making a turn in the Florida Straits and moving up into southern Florida, probably as a Category 4. At least this is the track. Now, don't concentrate too much on this line. You've got the cone of uncertainty. It could go on this side of Florida. It could go into the Gulf side of Florida as a Category 4. This is where it's going to be Sunday night. So it looks like in Miami at this current speed, this current forecast, it's in Miami Sunday morning. And it looks like it comes on shore somewhere in Savannah, maybe in Georgia, South Carolina, sometime on Monday. But this is the first hurricane on record. They have 185 mile per hour winds for 24 hours. That's why I'm calling it the most intense hurricane recorded. Allen had winds of 190 mile per hour winds. Those are the strongest winds ever recorded in an Atlantic hurricane. Wilma Gilbert and the Labor Day storm that hit Key West in 35. Those also had 185 mile per hour winds. But what I've done here is circle where that happened, where the strongest winds were with these hurricanes. Key West. Just off the Keys, in the Gulf, just off Yucatan. Never has a hurricane been this far east this strong and also have 185 mile per hour winds for this long of a time. So, this is the strongest hurricane ever outside of the tropical Atlantic. So, it is a historical storm. Now, this is one of the forecast tracks of European models. It's showing it kind of pulsing up and down, but notice it gets strong again just off the coast of Florida. And then, as it closes in Miami, gets over those very warm waters approaching the Florida Straits, gets strong again before these hurricane force winds get into Miami sometime late Saturday night and into Sunday. But notice this track right here because look at the forecast modeling. Most of it has it on this side, so perhaps. Get lucky, the last Category 5 hurricane, which was just last year in Matthew, it missed Florida and stayed offshore. So let's hope that happens as well. Meanwhile, around here, real quick, as we've been talking about hurricanes almost the whole time, you have temperatures tomorrow right back in the mid 80s and tomorrow morning in the low 60s, being one of the coolest mornings we have had since the third week of May. Thank you very much. A TV cameraman.